Welcome to Electron Line. The next three subtopics under the general topic of moments of inertia are number 11, parallel axis theorem. Now again, again, we've seen this one before, but this one is in 3D where we're actually displacing the entire XYZ axis to a new location and we're then trying to find the new moment of inertia with that shift. Next, we're going to look at moments of inertia of thin plates. We're going to assume that they have a uniform density Here's the symbol for density and a very small thickness t. We can then translate, we can or calculate the moment of inertia about a particular axis of the mass of that object. We can write that as the density times the thickness times the moment of inertia of the area of this, since it's just a thin plate. And you can see then if we then replace this by what we know that's equal to 1 12 a cubed times b. This is how we then find the mass moment of inertia from the area moment of inertia if we have a thin plate. Units seem to work out. We start with mass per unit volume for the density times the length for the thickness times length to the fourth power for the moment of inertia of the area. And then you can see that that reduces then to ml squared, which is the units of moment of inertia for a mass. Next topic is we're going to learn how to calculate the moment of inertia by calculus for various 3D uh, objects, such as this bar right here in 3D. We're going to learn how to find the various ways of calculating the moment of inertia. And I guess that's not di, but i is equal to the integral of that. It's a simple correction there. All right, so those are the next three subtopics. The next video will show you the final set of all the subtopics covered in this chapter.